All right, guys, we are Five Live. I'm Bobby T. I'm Martin. And I'm Chris. And we're going to do this. It'll be a quick live show tonight. We've been live all night since about 9 o'clock. Uh, kind of getting sick of talking to you jerks. He, he's very testy. Do you yeah. do you get this what testy when I you... I haven't gotten my live notification. Do you get it, this testy when you edit videos? Or... No. <laughs> no? Yeah, no. That's You're very even so, It's true. <laughs> we, uh, we just watched the... Um, NXT War Games, amazing. Loved yes. it. Uh, every match was pretty much solid. Every single match Can't I enjoyed, complain. and yeah, which is that's an NXT show. Like, yeah, absolutely. So I can't is... remember an NXT pay per view where it, there was a match where I went, I didn't want, I didn't enjoy that match. Yeah, this that, that was really. And that's solid. the and that's why I prefer NXT to main roster right now. So, uh, like I was saying, we've been here uh, talking for a while tonight, so we're gonna go pretty short tonight, probably the, shorter than our normal Saturday night shows. Uh, this week, also due to the holidays, we'll be recording our live wrestling show uh, Tuesday night instead of Wednesday night uh, because we just have too much to do the yeah, night Tuesday. before the holiday. Yep, Tuesday night around 10.30. Yeah, so it'll be around the, around the normal time, but uh, yeah. we'll be doing our WWE wrap-up and wrestling wrap-up then. I can't yep. believe your family doesn't understand how important this is. They That's clearly right. just don't understand yeah. that. Really, that really I don't. I shouldn't up. be cooking for family. I should no. be talking about toys. Yeah, you, will, you should exactly. be cooking for us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, 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 and then and then talking yeah, about exactly. toys. Okay. While we suffer right. fat faces. God, I, you, so, you mean we could have been eating this whole time? And <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I guess we'll just jump into some... He really... doesn't edit. He doesn't cook for us. Nothing. Does... <laughs> I don't do a thing. So, um... <laughs> he doesn't buy us things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so... Speaking of things that were bought this week, we yes. came across one of the best deals. Uh, Beavis have found this one uh, using BrickSeek, so get out there and use it. I'm going to throw the... Uh, the uh, link. link. Yeah, link to it right here in the comments, so if it's, you guys uh, want to run over there. Yeah, BrickSeek's we found... a nice little website. Uh, you basically uh, enter in a skew of what you're looking for, and it will uh, look into the inventories of all the... Uh, Pretty much the big stores. stores it's Target, yeah. yeah, Target, Walmart, Best Buy. And, um, uh, what is it? Uh, con uh, um, there's a subreddit called Console Deals, which uses this a lot mm -hmm. uh, to uh, uh, to our advantage. Thank so you. on Console Deals, we found, uh, I mean, you can't beat this, for $15 each, we got Xbox One controllers. Yeah. Um, um, it's not a color I probably would have honestly rushed out to buy, uh, but at 15 bucks, yeah. we're good. On the other hand, absolutely love this color. I'm super. Uh, I, oh, didn't yeah. say I didn't yeah, love it. Nah. I just didn't. I would okay. run to it. Now I have no, it. No, I love yeah. the orange. Yep. Um, the the buttons are the the, the grayed out clear yeah. buttons. Walmart does this every once in a while. This is a Walmart exclusive. Mm. They don't sell them, so uh, they just deep discount and get rid of them. Would you say you would walk at a medium pace? I would walk at a, a medium brisk, pace. A brisk walk to. <laughs> Eh, medium. Yeah, okay. Me medium to brisk. Yeah, sweet. We'll, we'll upgrade it a little bit. That sounds good. So, <laughs> yes, getting back to this. Uh, this is the um, newer style wireless controller. has uh, both ports on the bottom. Bluetooth compatible. Um, in fact, uh, when we first handed this over to Beavis, he hooked it up to his phone mm -hmm. within two seconds. Yeah, immediately so, he hooked it to his phone and yeah. was playing games with yeah. it. So. And uh, by the ports, he means the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack for your mm -hmm. headset. Or uh, the stereo headset uh, adapter, adapter yeah. yeah. If you well, use one that thing as that's well. really cool that we use uh, we use our controller for is if you put just regular headphones into mm -hmm. it, you can hear the vol usually the volume of what's going on on the screen. Yeah. It's not that loud, but with the baby early on when my baby would be sleeping, that's how I'd watch TV mm -hmm. was through my Xbox controller. Hmm, interesting, I yep. didn't know that. Yeah, so. Uh, Keep an eye out for, for deals like this. That's the only way you're going to find yeah. it. Yeah, BrickSeek is going to be blown up, especially coming up now that we have Black Friday coming yeah. and, and all the, the sales going on. So definitely worth keeping that as BrickSeek.com, S-E-E-K.com. So, um, yes, yeah, so not Brick, S-I-K-H.com. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a man of Seek uh, ancestry. Yeah. who He's got a nice brick collection, I'm just going to say. So, <laughs> I'm so... Uh, I everything town. I think we're, I'm out with Funko. They yeah, pulled pull me back, right in. back in. So uh, while I was at GameStop today, came across the uh, new the you know, throw up in the front yeah, the Disney Afternoons Funko Disney Afternoons uh, mystery minis. Uh, uh, all the classic Disney Afternoon um, Ducktales, Tailspin, um, Chippendales, and, and Darkwing one. Duck. Unfortunately, nothing from Gummy Bears or Goof Troop, but. Uh, and though this is a Woodchuck Scout um, of, I'm not sure which one. Yeah, he would do it earlier. I can't remember. Red shirt. Red, Red shirt. shirt. I think that's, um, 
Yeah, it doesn't you? say on the box. Yep. So, uh, but that's a really, really cool figure. Yeah. I, um, when they announced this, I, uh, I really oh, wanted nice. to get a... Uh, uh, there were a couple oh, in, the, sweet. in there that I was like, oh, yeah, I definitely want One that. One of 36. So. Oh, and blue. we got a blue from Tailspin. So very, very cool. Um, yeah, Funko's... I really love the sign. There's going to be exclusives all over the place. It's yeah. going to take a little while for me to track it all down, but I definitely want it. Funko's Mystery Minis, uh, they've really stepped up the game lately. Uh, mm -hmm. They started out really sad, but uh, a lot of the stuff they've been doing lately is very uniquely designed. They actually take their time with it. They uh, put thoughts behind it, which is... I know. mean, we do have three of the best figures here on the mm -hmm. table. Right there on the right table. Right here. And it's... The only one that matters. Oh. They're the same? Yeah. It's because it's... You got to get them all. Exactly. We have like four more of these. Yeah. Side. I got to find Awful. them. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was actually terrible. from a, from a deal that we... We got multiple deals on those yes. ones. But the best deal we got on those... Uh, they were the DC Mini Mates, or um, Mini Mates, uh, Mystery Minis, and those ones were $1.97 each, buy one, get two free, mm -hmm. and we bought cases. Yes, we did. Uh, that along with the, the uh, Batman Vintage line, which we really, right behind the camera, have two cases yes. sitting yeah. behind the camera. Waiting to be opened. <laughs> well, why even open it? We already have a full set. I, I actually but... did light up a full set, yeah, yeah. and we did, we did get it. Wow. So there you go. Um, so, kind of found something funny. What's that? And actually, we'll go with a uh, we'll go with the what are you reading while we mm -hmm. talk about this one. So, what are you reading? I'm uh, still in the middle of Red Ready Player One. I reached uh, level two, and nice. uh, it is amazing. And when they announced the uh, movie and they showed the trailer, uh, a lot of my friends who read the book uh, said, uh, "I don't see how they're going to do this. Mm. They're very trepidatious." And I was like, "Ah, you know, you, it's Stephen King, and and but now getting this far into the book, mm. I don't see how they're going to do this without just ruining it." Yeah, uh, it, it, that's. That is the issue there the, because with the book it, there's no limit. It's yeah. so you know? deep. Yeah, and, and also so I mean much. the expense to make this movie right. if, to keep it true to the book would be so bad just in licensing. Exactly. Music alone right. would kill right. it. It's um, so it's so steeped in culture and everything. It's yeah, it, it's it would be super super tough. Um, speaking of copyright infringement, my son is obsessed with this new show. It's called Tom the Tow Trucks Paint Shop. <laughs> and it's a YouTube 3D animated show mm -hmm. where uh, different animated cars come into Tom the Tow Truck's paint shop mm -hmm. and he paints them up as characters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've seen this. It's insanity. They're like, oh, who are you going to be today? The Hulk. And they just paint them like yeah. the Hulk. So I, I actually did ask a friend who's in licensing and does work out in LA at uh, one of the bigger companies. I can't really say more than that. Uh, but I asked him about stuff like Woo. And these websites that do the daily mm -hmm. t-shirt mashups mm -hmm. and, hey, look, it's uh, Superman as Doctor Who or whatever. Right. And I said, you know... It's a terrible t-shirt mashup. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> oh, now wait, it's going to be a thing. It's, uh, <laughs> it is the internet. So I asked him, I said, you know, don't these people realize that they're like infringing on major copyrights and they that they're going to get or sued at any moment? And he said, truthfully, the answer is they won't get sued. Yeah. They it's... might get a cease and desist. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And it really depends on what they're selling. Because uh, he said it's basically a free way to keep a license alive without ever having to touch it. If they go too far out of line, yeah. they can rein them in. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, they just let people do what they want. Because yeah. how else are you going to keep the Despicable Me characters alive between yeah. these 18 months? So they're periods. to blame for that. <laughs> uh, well, he actually um, he, he was telling me uh, that there's going to be a sequel to a kid's movie. Yeah. Um, coming up, and uh, that's where I definitely can't say the name. But yeah, yeah. Uh, th this movie is, is super popular, and the sequel when what it does come it? out. No, you're not. No, <laughs> I'm please don't. <laughs> so, um, Hocus Pocus two. <laughs> he said it, it, it because it wasn't that hot in the theater. Um, Indian and the Cover two. It, it did get hot after the fact on on demand, mm -hmm. Netflix, and all these different things. That that gave them the sequel to this, but it's going to be a year off than the normal schedules, usually 18 months until mm -hmm. a sequel in this case. It's going to be 28. So, um, but it, I said, so I saw a mashup of this shirt where they were doing this, and he goes, that's perfect. That just yeah. means people still like the license. Right. It, I, it tells I us what we know. I understand that, but mm. this is just blatant. Yeah, oh yeah, no, this <laughs> stuff is pretty rough. Yeah. So, uh, what are you reading, Chris? Uh, I actually finally finished the um, manga series for Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches. Uh, I was I was reading it um, 
when each volume was coming out, I was going to uh, um, Barnes and Noble and picking it up, and I just kind of let it lapse for a little bit because uh, there was so much going on. I'm like, I just, I want, I want to keep reading, and I'm, I'm having to wait, you know. So I let it go for uh, a, a little bit, and I picked up um, the extra volumes that I was missing, and I read them, and I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I liked the show. Mm -hmm. I hope they get to do um, a second series of the the anime because uh, the anime was hilarious. So, all right. I am still reading the Zelda stuff. Yeah. Uh, I just got towards the end of Majora's Mask, finally. Um, I actually got to a point in it, and I was like, wait, I don't remember any of this, and had to flip way back to the beginning to read an early issue. He actually started playing the game, because he's like, I don't remember this. I'm I don't like, remember any <laughs> of this. <Yeah. coughs> Although, no, I did, uh, I did just unearth my PSP. Nice. And uh, it does have emulators all over it. So well, of course. Some of the, uh, the N64 four stuff works, some of it doesn't. When it doesn't work, it really doesn't work. Yeah, the PSP <laughs> was great for that. Yeah, and I have a yeah. 2000, so it's the perfect, it's that, that right series to get it done. Um, that's my usual, The every year when I play Link to the Past, that's the one that I, I usually play. Well, it's a good thing you have an SNES Classic now. Cause then you that can, is yeah, correct. Uh, I actually also did pull out some, uh, some of my... Uh, other games and in it is the Between Worlds, the Link Between yeah. Worlds, which is the sequel to uh, Link yes. to the Past. I, I played so awesome. Yeah, I played that one when it first came out. Um, I think like three years ago now, four years ago now, maybe. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a blast playing it. Uh, for me, there's like a, a synonymous time of the year to play Zelda, mm -hmm. and this is it because when I was in high school and Ocarina of Time came out. It was actually right around uh, this time, like that week of vacation. It was actually before um, the week of vacation for Thanksgiving that you get from school. And uh, I remember that last day of school before, you know, before vacation started. Actually, I think it was like the day before Thanksgiving because then you get Thanksgiving off and then vacation starts. So it was the day before Thanksgiving and I begged my mother uh, to pick me up from school so that she could take me to Toys R Us uh, to get the game because I, I pre-ordered it there. And uh, and so, yeah, so for me, like, this time of the year, Thanksgiving, that week, it's it's synonymous with playing Zelda because I played Ocarina of Time uh, mm -hmm. at that point. Then the next uh, holiday... Actually, I don't think Majora's Mask came out in, uh, in, in like, around the, the November time. I think, actually, uh, Majora's Mask was, I want to say, like, February, March-ish. But A Link Between Worlds came out um, mm. around right around Thanksgiving too, and so that was just another you know kind of flashback. So, see, I was playing, I was reading that, and uh, I gotta order the rest of them. Although I think, uh, truthfully, what I what I really would like mm. to do is go to Occupy Underground again yeah. and do another live show from there. It's been a while. I yeah, think, uh, I think we. I don't know. We might have to wait until after the new year, just because you know, with holiday shopping and everything. Well, you know, we'll see what it's like there. Who, yeah. who knows? I mean, if we, if we do a Wednesday there, maybe it's different than their Saturday nights. True. True. Who knows? You know, they'll they'll know better. But we'll give them a call. Yeah. We'll see what's going on. Uh, other things that we actually have going on that we'll mention is we have our beer coming out December sixth. It'll be called Technical Difficulties <laughs> by. It is a session IPA by Front Porch Brewing, Wallachman, Connecticut. Uh, we'll be drinking that at the premiere in their tap room doing our wrestling show. Mm -hmm. It'll be uh, Wednesday, December 6th. So Sounds good. Definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, right. And what I picked up in my other What You Read, Hellboy, mm -hmm. yeah. always. Of course. Um, I got the Rasputin Pop <laughs> because it looks exactly like me. Yeah, just a little wider. <laughs> I like how, even true to form, you've got the bags under the eyes. You know, all that time <laughs> editing in front of the in front of the computer. He's just he's, he's just defeated. Yeah, and, and just the <laughs> yeah. a pentagram shirt because yeah. I had to channel the demons. Yeah. Let's keep you're going. like all right. He he's you're channeling your inner metal gods here <laughs> to to give you that last little bit of energy to. Finish to editing. Get said one video. more butt joke in. That too. That Just too. one more <laughs> picture of one more, Diarrhea Jacks. There you go. Uh, one more. It's cold time, baby. Is that <laughs> it? You know what's funny? I as I was editing our Survivor Series prediction video, I, I I'm putting the pictures up of all the different people we're talking about, and we get to the five on five Raw SmackDown match for men's, and I was I actually typed in finally I'm like. I'm not fucking doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you actually watch it, it'll say I'm not fucking doing this. <laughs> nice. Like it's just too many people. I I just I need to get this done. Um, now that's actually a pretty funny video. We'll be putting that out uh, 
Actually, the more I think about it, tomorrow morning. It'll probably be out tomorrow about 9 a.m. Yep. Just so, in time for the Survivor Series. Which just starts in time. Special start time. 5 p.m. tomorrow. God, it's the yeah, dude. <laughs> they're going nuts with these long matches, yep. man. So, uh, what are you listening to, Chris? Uh, I've actually been listening to a lot of old school, uh, getting back to my roots, um, some old school uh, UK punk. Uh, we were listening to The Last Resort on the way down here. Martin and I carpooled, and I forced him to listen to all the stuff that... Uh, That's not forced. The, yeah. I, would listen, I would listen to Oi Punk <laughs> any nice, day of the yeah. week. <laughs> uh, so, I've been listening to The Last Resort, um, The Business... By uh, last resort, it was just that one terrible Papa Roach song. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just yeah. over and over and over. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to kill myself. It, yeah, <laughs> it to him. I was trying to see if I could get him to bleed from his ears, uh, <laughs> but to no avail. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, The Business, Coxbar, Blitz, um, The Showcase Showdown, which is not UK. They're actually from Boston, but they're still awesome. Um, Propagandi, Canadian punk band. Just, nice. You know, yeah, normal stuff like that. What do you got, Mark? Uh, I've been listening to a lot of mid 2000s indie stuff, so... Um, uh, was it uh, Bad Astronaut and uh, Roman Line? I'm gonna listen to that album over and over again. They only did one album, and it is amazing. Um, uh, was it? Uh, oh God, uh, Gaslight Anthem, you know stuff like that. Okay. You know that uh, that that I think it was that two year uh, two years where everyone's like, we want rock bands that kind of like sound like Springsteen, but actually have intelligible lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, and then uh, there's a couple of podcasts that have been doing uh, really good, uh, having some really good episodes. And in fact, Joe Rogan just had Dan Carlin from Hardcore History on. Nice, um, nice. And that's so, awesome. Yeah, so I, I haven't listened to that one yet, but I'm sure it's amazing. So yeah, I, uh, I've been listening to uh, it's still my dad wrote a porno. One of the <laughs> funniest, one of the funniest podcasts I've listened to in a very long time. Uh, I'm on the second. So the, apparently the first season of this was mm-hmm. 13, it was 13 chapters, so 13 episodes. They do every episode, they go through the, uh, a chapter of this romance smut novel that the host of the show's father had actually written. But it is the most British oh, yeah. smut it's novel It's so ever. British. It's like Victorian British. Like it's that, it's yeah. hilarious. So it's about a woman uh, who work. her name is Belinda, and she works for a Pots and Pants company. And what's her last name? Blinks. No, no, no. Oh. The name of the name. Oh. The name of the pot. The name of the book is Belinda Blinks. Oh God! Uh, I think it was I that Bellamy. Was last name. So it's, I'll have to look it up. So but. it's basically the 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 title of the book is her blinking. It's so what that <laughs> is within the book is when like shit's about to really pop off. And, she like, starts things blinking. Things are gonna get weird. No, no. Here's how they write it. It'll be like, and then he pulled down his pants, and then it'll be like end of sentence mm-hmm. or end of paragraph. Yeah. And then single line, Belinda blinked. <laughs> and that's what it's like. Shit's about to go down. She's breaking out the nips. That's like, so dumb. Dude, it's so good. Uh, it's it's really one of the funniest things I've listened to in a really long time. Um, but So the first season was uh, the first book. Then it turns out the dad kept writing. Oh. And he wrote this at a round turn of the century. So, like... Faxes are still a thing, yeah, but yeah. emails aren't quite like he calls it electronic mail nice. because it's still electronic <laughs> mail. So um, little things like that, well. <laughs> little little things like that that were really really funny in this. Um, so yeah, I've been listening to that and Coheed. I just always kind of have. I know you guys You're don't like worst. it, but yeah, <laughs> sorry. So awful. It's be, well, it's between honestly, it's between uh, Coheed and. Uh, uh, don't try hip hop guy uh, Jin Sang, who I listen to quite a bit, the don't lo-fi hip hop. Yeah. Uh, he just put out a new album about a month ago on Spotify that I just keep kind of rolling. I should just buy that thing to support the guy. <laughs> like I feel bad at this point. Uh, my my Spotify ten bucks a month isn't really hacking it for this guy. Um, however, I did go to Target and I ran into something crazy. Kind of haven't seen it. Uh, Target exclusive oh, Brady sweet. Twins from The Shining. Um. Haven't seen that in person. I, it must be a return because it's like minty fresh. Yeah, and it's something that came out like a month and a half ago. They so. were like, we were gonna try to sell this on eBay, and I got we got lazy and decided to just. That's pretty it. much. Yeah, I really wanted those just as figures. I. I this is really the ones I really wanted. That's what happens to me at work uh, when people return SNES classics. Yep. I'm like, ah, I. They're like, yeah, you know, I just I decided I didn't really want it. It's like, no. 
You tried to sell it on eBay. You tried to scalp it, yeah, didn't you work. couldn't, and now you're trying to get your money back. Mm-hmm. Which is fine because I sell them to my friends. So yeah, <laughs> hey, how do you think I got one? Uh, Rebecca was telling me that uh, a guy had returned one and wanted cash back, mm-hmm. and she's like, "You don't have a receipt." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, but uh, she's like, "Did you buy it on a car, like with your your power reward card or whatever?" And he's like. I don't uh, have one of those. I don't have yeah. one of those. She's like, I can't do anything yeah. for you. Yeah. And mean, it was clearly that situation. Yeah. Like, you tried to scalp and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. I got those. Those are the best. So, um, what was that? That was listening to... Yeah. What are you watching, Martin? Uh, I am, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just uh, uh, just starting Punisher. Mm. Which just uh, started. Yeah, yesterday. looks so good. Have now. you been punished? Uh, no. No, you haven't been punished yet? Stop. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Um, and, when uh, will you be punished? Shut. <laughs> <laughs> shut your stupid. <laughs> and then uh, getting caught up on Sunny. Uh, so. Yeah, it's, uh, Hulu just put up season 12, season 12 so uh, I've been watching season 12 too yep. myself. Uh, what about you, Chris? Uh, I actually started watching that show, that Netflix original show, uh, Slasher. I haven't seen that. Yeah, What's it's... it about? Slashers. I've only watched uh, the <laughs> okay. two episodes. Uh, is, it a, is it a fiction or is it... It's a fiction, yeah, okay. yeah, no, no, yeah. It's not like based off of uh, any anyone, but it was. I don't really know too much about what's going on yet because uh, I've only watched like the first two seasons, but or first two episodes. But in the first episode, uh, someone gets slapped. Yeah, basically, like right <laughs> off the bat, like in like the first five minutes, and and you don't really know what's like going on, and he just slashes them. Wow. So yeah, I mean, it seems like it's right up my alley. I mean, because I like to slash people, so. You know, uh <laughs> Oh, I think they call that an. Uh, I think no. you just. Oh, uh, I mean, you no. Just, you I was. I imagine was, exactly. I imagine you just admitted to a couple things. Uh, I was with you uh, on the night uh, uh, on Wednesday. No, just, live. Uh, <laughs> There's people go, watching. <laughs> There's, oh, nobody uh, there's, your, nobody there's nobody watching. There's nobody watching. There's your bird lawyer. So. <laughs> there's one other uh, person watching. <laughs> hi, hi, Bobby T's wife. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, what is it? Mom, Mama T. Mama, Mama T. T. There you go. Uh, but no, I, you know, I love horror movies. I love that genre. So that seems right up my alley. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue watching. I like the first couple episodes. So yeah. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. like I was saying, watching Sunny myself. Uh, found the remote for my TV. Well, did, I'm sorry, I didn't really find it. Went and got another one. Couldn't find the old one. Uh, so had to go to Xfinity uh, to get one. Thought it was going to be like this whole thing. I really walked in. The dude was like, yeah, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, do you want my account number? He's like, no, we're cool. He's like, like, like yeah, no, I've got, got an entire warehouse yeah. of these things. Pretty so. much, pretty much. So he just hands the thing to me. I walk out. So I've been catching up on my DVR pretty much. Nice. Um, so the Orville. Uh, yeah, awesome. I got to catch I up on I love it. Yeah. I really do love it. It's uh, everything I wanted. Yep. From a uh, Star Trek show. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Uh, so something I did find for ten dollars on clearance at Walmart: Ultimate Maniacs, Ultimate Warrior. Uh, awesome figure. For a man who hates the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> no, no, I don't hate the oh. Ultimate Warrior. I hate the Ultimate Warrior. He, ah. he hates the Ultimate. Oh, okay. I think he's ridiculous. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I see him for what he is, mm-hmm. but um, I still I love the character of the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. That's a really really well done figure too. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, from the Ultimate Maniacs. They made a macho man who has the... Uh, if he's teamed up with Randy Savage, why is his outfit red and yellow? Why is he wearing Hulk Hogan colors? Yeah. That is an amazing question. I've been asking that question for the last 25 years. <laughs> so, so when we eventually do meet Vince McMahon, yeah. that's the question he's asking. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> why was it yellow Sh- and red? Shouldn't it be like, why Punjabi prison? No, yeah, no, 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 no. Why, no. when will it be boss time? No, nope. no, no. Nope. When will it be... Cold time, cold time, baby. Time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cold time, baby. <laughs> when will Shawn Michaels get a smile so, back? No, never. No, no, no. Yeah, so, the answer never, to never, that never. is when he finds Jesus, which so, is what happened. <laughs> we'll go to Martin first on this one. Yes. Uh-oh. What are you playing, Martin? Uh, so, uh, what is it? Uh, I swear to God, you said <laughs> No, my Black, Friday, my Black Friday sale started early. Yep. Uh, Microsoft uh, put their Black Friday sales up. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I think it was actually yesterday. I think so, yeah. Um, and so I picked up uh, three games. Picked up uh, Mafia 3, the uh, uh, full edition with all the add-ons for 25 bucks or 22 Whoa. bucks. Um, I picked up Agents of Mayhem uh, for, uh, again, the uh, what about extended Office edition. Of <laughs> Nothing. Um, and that was only like 25 bucks. And then I picked up Mortal Kombat XL for $8. Whoa, so, dude, that's um, awesome. And uh, they're... 
there are are other rumors of uh, other games coming to the sale because mm-hmm. they usually do like a lead up to and then past Black Friday, and Injustice Two is supposed to be one of them. It's supposed to be oh, under yeah. thirty, so I'll mm-hmm. definitely be picking that one up. And uh, and then the other thing I'm looking forward to is uh, the Black Friday sale. I don't generally do the in store stuff because I don't want to buy discs. But this year, supposedly Walmart certain one uh, certain deals of theirs will also be the digital code. Mm. That's cool. So um, if I can pick up NBA 2K18 for 30 bucks digitally, then I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah, one of the things that I did like about uh, that Amazon did last year, they basically price matched everybody's Black Fridays. Yeah. So when you saw those $30 games, you were able to run onto Amazon.com and pick them up like that. Yep. That's I grabbed probably about five or six games that day. Yeah, and that's um, usually what I end up doing. I've, I've stopped unless... Like South Park was the last game that I bought um, day that's, of. That's going to be yeah. a 30, 30 bucks. It's going to thirty bucks, which is fine. I enjoyed. I enjoyed that. I'm, I'm going to get it. I got my six. Price. I got my sixty bucks out of it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I I don't regret that decision yeah. at all. And I waited on Agents of Mayhem. I'm I'm really glad I did, um, because I enjoy it. But mm-hmm. if I paid sixty bucks for it, I'd be pissed. Yeah. And the same thing with Mafia Three. It's got its problems. Yeah. It, we, were, uh, we were talking yeah. about this on it's the definitely way. Definitely got here. its problems, but um, I haven't played. An open world game that actually has a good story in a very long time. So yeah. I'm really enjoying it. I that. thought the main story missions were pretty good. The soundtrack for the game was Which awesome. Which is Mafia 3 or something? Mafia yeah, 3, Mafia yeah. 3, yeah. Uh, I thought the soundtrack was fantastic. What really kind of killed it for me were the side quests. Uh, yeah. it, it's all pretty much the same thing, just with different uh, illegal activities. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and also playing a lot of uh, Mutant Football League. Nice. Oh, that's right. It's so good. They just did an amazing job. Um, the new London Hatriots are just <laughs> killing it. <That> nice. <laughs> yeah, I want to. Um, I've been playing a little bit of Rocket League. Um, a lot of SNES Classic. Mm. Uh, like I was saying, I just unearthed my PlayStation, my PSP. Uh, it's the original PSP I got when it's in actually pretty decent shape. So. Um, that is loaded up with emulators from every system I could right. jam into the thing that it'll accept. It, it does some N64 games, mm-hmm. not too much. Uh, it's not going to do any of the um, the 64 meg games where you... Or you had to have the, the, had to have the, the yeah. yeah. That, uh, it doesn't have the power for that, but it can do pretty much anything that doesn't involve that. Well, that's um, good because there weren't a lot of N sixty four games that required the no mercy. Uh, yeah, did, uh, really, that's, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. I know like Star Wars Rogue Squadron, maybe because that Rogue game Rogue Squadron, Squadron Donkey did. Kong, yeah, yep, Donkey Kong, um, which is so good. Yeah. I love that game. There was uh, what else? Um, Conquers. Yep, Conquers oh, Bad Fur Day yep. needs it. So there's there's a few games that do I, need. I it, only but... remember this because when I bought it, I bought a sixty four used solely for No Mercy. And it didn't come with the expansion mm. pack, so I had to go out and buy it. Yeah, just that's... so I could play No Mercy. <laughs> Dude, me and Beavis waited in line for that one. We were like frothing up. Uh, see, I didn't own mm. I didn't own a sixty four until much much later in its life. No, we were nerds. I, so. Yeah, I had an N sixty four when it first came out. I even actually bought the expansion pack when it they sold it separately first, and I bought it then. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, later on. They uh, released it with, I think, um, Rogue Squadron. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, and uh, and then so I had two, um, and I had <laughs> pretty a, much the same. Yeah, and so I, I think I sold the other one to uh, to a friend of mine. For uh, me, I, I had the original launch one. Uh, Beavis and I, when we were in, a, God, I think that was eighth grade for us. Um, there was a uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly issue that talked about the Dolphin. Because mm-hmm. that was its original, yeah, yep. its original uh, code name. So uh, we had pictures of that, like photocopy. We we photocopied the articles <laughs> yep. and would like read them in our binders while we were in classes and stuff. Uh, and then it became the Ultra sixty four, mm-hmm. and we were uh, like, I still think it should have been Ultra sixty four. I love that name, uh, but yeah, Nintendo sixty four was always a really good one for me. I uh, love the hell out of it. Then got the green Donkey Kong version. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, it was in uh, a clear green, mm-hmm. and it came with the expansion pack and a yellow cartridge yep. version of the game. So that was really cool. I really like that. It had the clear green controller. Mm-hmm. God damn, that was such a good system. Yeah, the N64, um, Nintendo was really like the first ones to do that kind of different color systems, yeah. different color controllers, yeah, Rumble special pack. editions. Oh, man. Yeah. I love that. That actually was funny. We always loved the bootleg Rumble Pack, mm-hmm. not the real one, because yeah. the real one, the weight was weird. Mm-hmm. If you had a uh, uh, the bootleg one, it kind of scooped back a little, so it made the weight of the controller yeah. feel They also better. had the best, the best wireless controller. 
So. Oh, the wave bird. For, yeah. Oh, for the yeah. wave bird. Yeah. All right, so that's funny you just said that. Uh, Tim and I, Beavis, we, we were driving around this, uh, doing a little toy hunting this week, and we started talking about a segment we're going to be doing together a little bit about weird controllers that we've seen over time that we love, and the wave bird came up. And we were saying, like, for, we decided what we're actually going to end up doing is making that somewhat of a series because mm-hmm. the evolution of what we now know as the Xbox controller I think started way back in Nights into Dreams in Sega, oh, way yeah. the hell back oh, yeah. when. Oh, sorry. And there is, we kind of tracked, like, okay, well, that controller became this controller, mm-hmm. and that right. became this. Yeah. And you see, when you kind of see it all laid out, you yeah. really do see the evolution of how we got to this. Yeah. Um, this perfect, perfect. That's perfection. Yeah. Perfect thing. I don't, uh, anyone I talk to when I start talking to them about video games and they tell me that they prefer to play first person shooters on PlayStation, then they don't know I'm like, all right, well, we're done talking. Yeah, we're good. It's just, it's, it makes no sense whatsoever. I prefer <laughs> to play my first person uh, yeah. shooters on the PC. You prefer no, to play your, just, yeah. no, just you prefer so, to play your first person shooters inside of a giant robot. It's true. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. So, yeah, though, uh, we, we did kind of track it to the, um, we, we start, the wave bird had mm-hmm. come up as like a kind of a side offshoot of what started to play into the shaping of what we got here. Uh, The controller S from the Xbox One, or from the original Xbox. I would say the Xbox One. The Beast. Yeah, Yeah. well, no, that was the, yeah, yeah, there was the Duke. The Duke was the huge one. And then the Duke became the S, and then the S started to. Because they had to, yeah, because they had to sell it in Japan. (laughs) Yeah, big, no no one has big hands, so. Uh, Yeah, uh, so we really did kind of track it. It's really cool, uh, but the wave bird came up and then we started kind of really waxing poetic about it. I'm like, Oh, 10 R or 10 RF channels. Not IR. Oh, you could do this yeah, with it. Oh, yeah. you could do that. Yeah, like you play, you play in the other room. Yeah. yeah. We wanted to talk about uh, one thing when we do talk about that is I think the GameCube as a whole is going to come up and maybe be its own episode because the Game Boy um, player for it was amazing. It had kind of connectivity with the Game Boy, mm, the Advance. Uh, yeah, the Game Boy Advance, so you could play games like um, uh, Pac Man versus. Yeah, that oh, was great. That where was one awesome. person was uh, the basically one person with Pac Man, and everybody yeah. else were with the ghosts. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the way it would work is on the screen, it would look like Pac Man. Yeah, and the person playing would be Pac Man. Yeah. And then the other four people would be, or other mm-hmm. three people, unless you had a wave bird, or yeah, three, yeah. unless you had something like, anyway, yeah. they would have their, their SPs or whatever, advances, and then they would be playing as a ghost, yeah. but they could only see, yep. like, kind of a little bit around, and you were trying to chase Pac-Man. Yep. The Amazing. thing about Nintendo is that when you look at some of their controllers, like the N64 controller, the GameCube controller, even the Wii U tablet controller, you're like, oh, God, this looks so horrible. It's yeah. like, it looks so unwieldy. It yeah, it, it's yeah. so like ergonomic. Like yeah. They spend so much time making sure everything... The you know, analogs on that wave are yeah, the best analogs it's, ever. It's insane to me, because like, I, I saw the N64 controller you know, when uh, when they first announced it or whatever, and, and, you know, and I'm like, dude, this looks horrible. It looks like, stupid. Yeah, and it, and I still and never got used to it. I didn't. I I got well. you know what I played I, a lot of of WrestleMania 2000, No Mercy, and break, basically any of the Aki Engine yeah, yeah, games mm-hmm. were some of my yeah, favorite yeah. games. Although uh, it is kind of unfair to play the NWO Revenge because if you know the very simple trick, you'll never lose. Hit the special toggle in the middle, the analog mm-hmm. stick, when you're getting pinned, and you'll never get pinned. Yeah. Uh, it breaks the pin immediately. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. I. Uh, uh, when, like I said, I got into the N64 super late in its life, so I didn't play a whole lot of it, and mm. I never got used to that controller. One of, one of my favorite games on the N64 uh, was actually the um, the Shadows of the Empire game, the Star Wars one. Yeah. And that was yeah, one of the first it. games that I remember where uh, it rewarded you for actually playing through the whole thing, because it gave you a part of the story when you beat it on easy, and then the next part on medium, and then the, ah, and then okay. the next part on hard. So if you wanted to know... What, what happened, happened yeah, yeah, you had to play through the, yeah, the you know, player. yeah, yep. it was actually pretty neat. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So, uh, so what I'm playing is, um, Titanfall 2? Yes, Titanfall 2. No, I'm not playing Titanfall. <laughs> actually, I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey on my Switch. Uh, I've been playing Wolfenstein 2. Funny enough, though, one of my coworkers, uh, we were talking about Titanfall because, uh, um, I forgot how we got into the conversation. Because every conversation you have, so yeah, about Titanfall. exactly. <laughs> no, I think we were talking about shooters, and and I said how I like to play Battlefield and how I like to play Titanfall. You play a lot of Battlefield. Yeah, 
Um, and uh, I meant to show him some of my clips on my on my Xbox feed just to kind of get him, you know, be like, hey, this is what you can do in Titanfall. Mm-hmm. Like, this is what I do in Titanfall and, and everything. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, customers ruin it, and uh, yeah, I couldn't uh, do it. your job. Are you saying your job would be great if it wasn't for exactly. the customers? Exactly, dude. Every job would be great if it weren't for the customers. Um, I have to say, it's funny because we've been playing Battlefield for so long, and it's mostly the same dudes who are always playing. Yeah. That now we've become that squad that when we get put into the game, whatever team we get put on, we either balance the game out or completely unbalance it in the other, in that team's favor. <laughs> yeah. Because we're and not that we're good. Mm-hmm. We're not any good. No. We just work together yeah, so well. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in in Battlefield, I know I I've already reached my potential and I'm a mid tier player and yeah, I'm okay exactly. with that. No, I'm, you know, it, yeah. I'm I'm completely okay with that because I play the game how it's supposed to be. I play my job. You know, I I support if I have yeah. to drop ammo. You know, I'll revive if I'm a medic and stuff like that. Um, it's just for whatever reason, I'm so much better at Titanfall than I am. Than it's, I, yeah. it's frightening. Really. Yeah, <laughs> it's truly because I'm mid tier no matter what shooter I'm yeah. in. I'm not. I'm not terrible, but I'm not the best. I'll have occasional bouts of of you know of mediocrity, but. It's insane the transformation he goes through. Because in Battlefield 2, in Battlefield 1, he'll have three or four games and... You know, he'll be, well, he'll I did, be just just so you know, or... wait, wait, you don't even have to explain yeah. it to me, because I was on, when I got my Xbox One, mm-hmm. uh, the One X, I was just looking around, like, my friends list, and I was like, I wonder if Chris is on my friends list, because I, I don't play very many yeah, games, yeah. I play, like, on the Xbox One, I'll play, like, uh, Pinball FX3 mm-hmm. and occasionally, which I just recently, yep. for my play, I gotta add that to it, I yeah, played yeah. a lot this week. Nice. Um, but uh, I, I looked at some of the game videos, the Xbox recorded that, and... I saw some of them like, what the fuck did you record that for? That's stupid. Not for you. Yeah. For you, there was one of like, it's just Martin running around in a circle. <laughs> like, I don't no, know what I'm... You, you, you missed it. So it's running me running around in a circle, and then I die. And then if you watch the guy who kills me, mm-hmm. you see Dunder come up behind him and stab yes. him in the okay. neck. Okay, all right. That's the same. Like someone, <laughs> yeah. someone got jacked in that video. And that's that. I love videos like that. Yeah. That's how we got the Eiffel Tower video. Yes. There's one video so, from Battlefield 4 but then where I see... two guys converge on the same guy, both of them with Tifa battles. Yeah. And then I... I re-edited it so that it screams Eiffel Tower nice. <laughs> when we meet in the middle. <laughs> so I, I see then one of Chris's videos and I can't even explain it. It's a t- <laughs> Titan Vault 2 and it's like, and then he walked up a wall. And then, yeah, he and then he's, the fucking thing is catching him in the middle of the air and I'm going... What the yeah. hell am I seeing right now? Dude, so I Chris is gonna have to share a couple of those on yeah. the Five Alive uh, channels. Uh, I don't know how I do it with Titanfall. It's just one, dude. It, it got so it got to the point where I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it got to the point where we would go back to playing Battlefield, and I'd hold my trigger down, and my gun would only shoot one bullet. I'm like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> like what, what, I, I'm holding the trigger down. Why is it only shooting once? Doing it? <laughs> Why am I not jumping all over? Yeah, yeah, dude. Like, I know, so... man. There are points where I'm like, can I just get a double jump, please. Like everybody, everybody that I talk to, comes can, can to I just run up a wall? Dude, everybody, everybody that I that I talk to, that's like, oh, I hate this wall running and Call of Duty. I'm like, please, I need a wall run. I'm like, I want a wall but run. Here's the I thing. want you a double want, jump. You don't want wall run in Call of Duty World War Two. You want wall run in Titanfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's different. But still, I don't, I don't have a problem with wall running. I don't have a problem with the double jumping. Mm. I, any of that stuff. I'm, I'm all it's, for it's it. It's what it, it's like. I said, it's truly frightening because. Everyone we play with, they hit their strides, and they're usually like one of our one of our friends. He's a beast when it comes to uh, playing recon mm-hmm. in um, Battlefield. He's just he can snipe anyone. It's ridiculous. But any anything else, he's it's okay. Um, and then like Chris is just he's me, you know, mediocre in Battlefield, and then you get into the yeah. title. <laughs> I'm he's wondering. A God. I'm really bad at, at uh, first person shooters, but sometimes like it, it'll it'll click, and I feel mm. like okay, wait, I just did something, and yeah. I maybe yeah. re- remember it a few times, but the, it never holds my interest enough. I wonder if there's gonna be that time where I play like Titanfall three, and it's like yeah. oh shit, just all makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah. Because I'm, like that that, that, I'm like that with yeah. FX3. Yeah, like that was... That. Well, no, and that was Battlefield for me. I would play the Call of Duty games, and I was okay. It was never great. Yeah. And they were fun when you were playing with other, other people, but it was never something I would I would play on my own. And then I played Battlefield 3, and I'm like, 
I get this. You yeah. understand what's happening here, and I've never gone back. <laughs> Battlefield for me definitely had a a, a high um, learning curve, just because I never really played a game. I never played a first person shooter where you were shooting and doing other things. Mm-hmm. You right. know, like when you play Call of Duty, you're running and gunning. You know, and, and that's really it. Yeah. I, and it took me a little bit to get you know to get the hang of like dropping you know dropping ammo and and dropping medic boxes and reviving and stuff like that. Um, so Battlefield Spotting definitely Spotting people That too Yeah <laughs> well, um, I saw one I saw a video of you From some game I don't even remember What the hell it was But you shot somebody So far away With like a gun That I know You're not uh, supposed to shoot Yeah, with that gun yeah like no that. With the <laughs> So there's a support gun. It's French. It's called the Chow Chow. Yeah, yeah. I don't actually think that's its name. That's just what we call <laughs> that's it. What we have. And he is a maistro yeah. from well, the Well, that's the thing. I saw a guy, like, and then and he shows like, the replay, and it's like the guy's like, Like the dude's cooking breakfast in his home, and Chris is just murdering him. The best. Well, we are. We we do have to go actually here in a second. But I do. I to cut this short here. um... I do have one more toy I wanted mm-hmm. to talk about, but I'm going to talk about uh, one of our friends. Josh has the best kill I've ever seen in the history of games mm-hmm. like this. Uh, he was playing the sniper position, I guess. He was up on top of a building or up high, and he had a tomahawk or something, and he mm-hmm. needed to get rid of it yep. to pick something else up. So he just <laughs> threw it, yeah. and he picks the other thing up, and he's like, he runs away, he's doing a yeah. bunch of other things, and then he gets, like, he just sees... All of these achievements nice, dinging off, yeah. and he's like, "What the hell?" And it he hits like show replay. Apparently, he threw the thing at such an arc that it just kind of kept going. Yep. And it went into a spawn area, and it basically a dude spawned, took three steps forward, and yeah, got yeah. tomahawk to the yeah. back of the skull, and went down. So we got. Head hit, yeah, three hundred meter hit. Yeah. This and that's, that, and it by was the way, like that's why I don't play Call. Of Duty. Yeah, that's a Call. Of Duty. <laughs> it, yeah, that was a Call of Duty thing. It happened, and I, I saw it. Like, dude, that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I see that. Is Call of Duty the one where you could like flying a plane and jump out of it and jump into no, another plane? No, that's Battlefield. That's Battlefield. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some pretty crazy videos. Yeah, but I don't pay attention. One to of my old somehow. coworkers, uh, um, was a huge Battlefield guy, and he showed me videos of like people like, um. Ejecting out of their vehicle, getting onto another vehicle, and then jumping off of that vehicle and getting back into their old vehicle. Right, like, like putting, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw one. Yeah, 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 that, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> it, the guy, he's flying. Mm. He jumps up. He C fours a cockpit yeah. or something, yeah. and then jumps back to his own. Just, yeah, I, I can't uh, do that. And I'm, that's I'm yeah, terrible. we are we yeah. are, and that's why I say I'm never going to be a great or good oh, yeah. so, battlefield player because we can't do shit like that. <laughs> I found this today at Target. What it's the a Hot Wheels track builder system. It's called a stunt box. Uh, they make all these different individual little pieces, and they're made to actually work with Lego. So, well, their version of Lego, it's right, the same right. dimensions. Yeah. Um, you get a, a list here of all the different things you can do, the tracks you can build, and in it you get these, you get track pieces, you know, the, the classic Hot Wheels track. So take down that warrior. Um, what I thought was really cool is the new Hot Wheels track. It used to be there'd be a tab on this side yeah, and then nothing yep, on this yeah, side. Then, mm-hmm. Now it's you put this blue piece in, so that will connect and it actually locks in. So ah, the blue okay. piece locks in, and then to unlock it, you push the button to unlock ah, it. No, okay, Beautiful yeah. piece of, of engineering. So, um, so you click those together, obviously just like regular track, right? But the box itself. Oh, is also a, you can click it into here oh, okay. um you can click it into here as a as the receiver nice so like you you can do jumps and right, then it'll yeah. jump into this piece um uh, yeah my daughter is super into cars right now she loves hot wheels and stuff so we've been, uh, we've been randomly getting them when we go to the store um so also inside of here you have uh two turns came inside of it uh six pieces of track um this is the launcher. It came with one car, and then so you put the thing in. Yeah. Just, nice. Actually, so you hold it, and then you, uh, you hit go. the button oh, to launch awesome. it. Um, so it comes with this one car, like an ambulancey kind of <laughs> style <laughs> car. Well, my son has that. That's car. what you want to shoot off of. Yeah, um, off of a track. Hey, if you can't race in an ambulance. Yes. You're not doing it right. True. So what I was saying is, so now you have here. Here are the tops. These pieces go in, ah, and then you can build, build Lego up onto oh, nice. that. 
yeah, so it's a really, really excellent little piece. Um, I thought it was really cool. They, they have a couple different setups where um, you launch it and it goes up and it, like the embank turn mm -hmm. and comes back and the things launch right into the, the cars launch yeah, into the box. Sweet. And I said to my, to my wife, I said, this is how we get our daughter to clean up her damn toys. Yep. There you, go. You, you know what I mean? Like, so we'll see how it works, mm -hmm. but yeah. so uh, really cool little piece. This, now here's the awesome part, $19.99 for this thing. Wow. Like, this cool. is a legit toy. There's a lot of really cool pieces that you can buy with it. Uh, you use the, the Legos to actually build up. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get ramps. To like get like your that, yeah. ramp like as support yeah. and stuff. Um, and yeah, it, you know, well herein lies the problem though. Can we just open this up? Yeah, 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 here it pops on the side. It actually locks pretty nicely too. Um, do you see what it says right there at the corner? <laughs> Oh God! Get that away from me! Oh no, she can't have it! Oh my God, Prisa! Why did you show me that? Oh, I could have lived my whole life without knowing. Oh, I saw that in the corner. I was like, yeah. So just so everybody knows, it's trash brick. It's Mega Constructs. Um, so it's Mega Blocks' new stuff. But either way, um, what they do have uh, for this new line, too, is they have a couple different car lines that are made for Lego minifigs. Mm -hmm. So one of them is like a, uh, a launcher car where... You, you mean know, Mega Constructs minifigs? No, no, no. These are, these are definitely Lego, <laughs> if you see the package. I actually did try to put a Mega Constructs yeah, yeah. type guy into it. It's too big. It's, it's made for the brick style. Okay. Um, they have like little go karts that you can put the like die cast yeah, go karts yeah. oh, nice. that you can then toss in a a Lego guy, Sweet. Uh, a few Very other cool. really cool little pieces. So definitely worth checking out. This stuff always goes on sale too. I know at Toys R Us they'll do like you know buy fifty bucks worth of Hot Wheels and get a free this that or the other mm -hmm. thing. So uh, coming up in the holiday, keep your eyes out on that. I think that might be a kind of a most bang for the buck. Exactly. I mean, you do yeah. so much with that um, if your kid is in a die cast. My kid is lightly in a die cast, and this is going to blow her mind when she yeah. sees it tomorrow. So, yeah, I think uh, I think we're good, guys. Are we going to do the, uh, well, we got oh, the giveaway, got? the giveaway for oh, Kitten yeah. Butt. Kitten Butt, yeah. Yeah, so we uh, had this um, Vivek pop there, uh, and we did a giveaway, and one of our subscribers, yeah, one of our subscribers. Uh, yeah, has won this pop. A very um, loyal subscriber yeah, like that. Exactly. She watches the live feeds. Yeah. So it's good to know that uh, we're giving it to someone good. Yeah, so congratulations, Kitten Butt. It actually you have in the dark, Yeah, dude. it does. It's oh, actually, does it? Yep. yep. Oh, that's awesome. So congratulations to her. She's won this uh, Vivek. thing is minty. Yeah. Was, minty fresh. I, yeah. Well, it came from Chris. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You uh, know, it's you know funny perfect. story, actually, about this. Uh, I, I bought this at uh, the GameStop in Bristol. And uh, I, I go over there uh, actually fairly often because um, I pick up supplies from that store all the time. So I, w I went one weekend and I was like, yeah, you know, I need some stuff. Can I, can I grab it? And I saw this and I was like, okay, the next time I come to, to get something, if it's here, I'll buy it. And so the store manager there, she's like, yeah, okay, you know, no problem. So I grab whatever I need to grab. Then it, it might have been like two or three weeks later. I, uh, I come back and I, I had to get some some other stuff that that we needed and I go oh is that is that Vivek still there and she's like yeah it's right it's right there and I'm like I didn't I didn't want to buy it but I was like you know what I set out if it was gonna if yeah. it was here I was gonna do it so I bought it and actually I think I even got it for free I used uh, Power of Rewards points nice. to get a coupon yeah so uh, but anyway it's it's kitten butts now. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna it's send going to someone who could truly appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. She loves Vivek and she loves ESO. So, uh, yeah, we're going to send this out to her. And there you go. Awesome. I think she's going to give us something, too. Oh, so, all right. Yeah, hey, when, we'll see. We'll unbox it on we the get show. It, we'll unbox it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, throw my Daniel Bryan. This is actually, uh, he was on the table. We didn't really show him. I did, uh, I did a bunch of Daniel Bryan's a while back for a charity event. Well, a charity event. Came up with a way to donate to charity. Uh, 